October 8th, 2015. We're at Fantastic Musical Instruments. We're going to go inside the store and do an inventory video to show what we have on hand at this time. So we'll look over the side first. A little batch of bases and cases. Mm -hmm. And around this way we'll show what's over in this room. This is our main display room and we're going to start in on the left front of this rack here. This is an all laminated base with a custom paint job and removable neck magnetic pickup. Pro setup, I mean this was used by a pro. He's, he's not using it now. He wants to stay put and raise a family so he's selling his travel base. This is a laminated graduated top base. Yes, laminated graduated. It's got orchestral strings on it so it doesn't speak really well plucked, but it's nice. This is a Shin SB88. And this is a Romanian Cullen Volter Carcassi number five. That's with Spiracore Mediums, rich sound bass. This is about a hundred year old solid flat back carved top check bass. Pretty sweet bass, really. It's got Prostro Obligato strings on it. This is an all carved Maple Leaf Strings brand bass. With a bow, this sounds utterly rich and fantastic. It's got these uh, Helicor Kaplans on it, Didario Kaplan. So it sounds kind of dark and dull plug, but bowed, it'll blow your mind. And this is a carved top shin. Gorgeous bass too. And this one in front of it, is another Romanian made Colin Volter. This is their uh, hybrid, they call it Spirit. It's got broad shoulders, nice big body base. Pretty nice hybrid base. This is all solid carved DB504 by Christopher. Sale priced, definitely sale priced. Astro Eva Parazzi strings on it. Any of these you're interested in, give us a call, email, get in touch, see what sort of a special deal we can make you. We want to move the stuff out. We love these bases, but we want you to have them. So call us up and buy one. Get a killer deal on them. Oh, I'm telling you. Some of these, you'd be shocked how low we can let them go to just get them gone. Thriller copy by Christopher. Regularly seven thousand dollar base. We got it marked down to forty nine hundred right here, right now. And uh, call us up. We might even let it go for less. And those are Helicor, no Spiracor medium strings. And we have its brother here, same maker, Christopher, making a go filler copy. And. Um, this one has um, Tomastic uh, Belcanto strings on it. So it doesn't sound as big plucked with a bow. It'll blow your mind. This is a five string ebony fingerboard. Bright reddish orange finished. <laughs> Base, all laminated. All right, continuing the video. This is an older, all solid base, a solid sides. It may have, um, I think it's got a replaced back in thinner plywood. It's a thin carved top. We've got to do a restoration on it. It needs some crack repairs. It needs a new fingerboard. We're going to put a good ebony fingerboard on it, bring it back to full structural integrity. And it's bound to sound amazing being as thin a body as it is, real thin 
sides are pretty thin solid, top is thin, solid carved. That's going to sound fantastic. Okay, this is a basic plywood ebony fingerboard, removable neck, good rockabilly rig, travel base. That is a gorgeous flame maple uh, hybrid, nice sounding jazz base. Can't get to it to plug it right now. This one here is a vintage restored uh, German base, probably 1960-ish German base. Um, I believe it's solid flat back. Yeah, solid flat back carved top. It's got helical hybrid strings on it. Back here we have when we're going to restore it. It's coming apart. It's a plywood base. Um, I forgot what make. Anyhow, this is a big shouldered. Um, uh, Romanian, yeah, Cullen Vulture. We bought that one uh, destroyed. It was destroyed in shipping. We bought it fairly cheaply. We're going to restore it and uh, let somebody else buy it fairly cheaply. Get it out there. This is a uh, all solid carved um, 1976 Anton Schroeder that uh, we got all fixed up. We're going to sell it to a guy real soon. This is a Rom another Romanian uh, Cullen Vulture. This is the Corsini model, number five, gorgeously flame maple sides and back. Actually, it's poplar instead of maple. And uh, the fingerboard came loose in shipping. We gotta put it back on. It's gonna be a fine base. We got a cutaway black billy base here, rockabilly base. Good, tough, heavy fingerboard. We have a carved top 100, 110 year old base here. I think this is a 1920s um, check base. Sweet base. Okay, right here we have another Shen SP88, oil finished 88. With spiral core medium strings. We have a half size base here, ebony fingerboard, gorgeous flamed laminate size in the back. This is the base. Never mind me beating it up here. <laughs> it's had worse already, I'm sure. And here's the quarter size, uh, all laminated base. Good for the youngsters. All right, and of course, yeah, we, we missed this uh, eminence. We have an eminence fixed neck base. It's uh, gently used, ready to go. It's a sale price. Give us a call if you want one for a bargain price. This here is a 61 King Mortone. It's got a steel bolt pin neck. The, Crack repair has opened up a little bit. That's all it's going. It's been this way for many months now. So um, it could be bought cheaper this way than us taking it apart, redoing it, bolting it back. That's a hefty job to do. Can't be done for free, so it's cheaper as is. And this is a Christopher all carb removable neck. This is the 402 series, because the Gamba Corners is there too. Four is the all carved model. Spiral core medium strings. Nice base. This is a Christopher hybrid carved top, laminate sides and back. It's got helicor Kestrel strings, which dull out the plucked sound. This here is a Milano MB40F for the flame maple, MB40 for the ebony fingerboard, all laminate construction. This one we probably rented out. It's got a KK base max mounted with our wing tone pickup, I guess what do you call it? It's our tension adjuster um, screw that adjusts the tension on it. And you can change the pressure on it by moving it around a little bit at a time, change the sound. You can have at least five different pickups sound wise with this one base max on a base by moving this uh, pressure screw around, move it around, move the pickup. Anyhow, helicor hybrid strings. And this one sounds darker than most of this model. Here's another the same model. No, this is a carved top, similar model. Medium string. And this is a Milano MB12. It's got the painted maple fingerboard. 
real tough plywood construction, all laminated, you know. Tough workhorse base. I mean, a lot of guys are playing these professionally, really are. This has got helicore hybrid strings. And this is a Shen SD90, the long lacquer finish Shen. Palatino electric upright base. We need to put a realist pickup back under the foot there. We've taken it off for somebody to buy. We gotta put another one on there. Sounds real good plugged in with one of those. This is our showpiece painted base. Gorgeous quality of paint. The pink lady. We did one of these little bit different design pink lady about four years ago. And it wound up selling to a guy on the East Coast. It's a chick magnet. It's not just a pink base, it's a chick magnet. <laughs> this is an EUB of carved woods with a realist pickup under the foot. And uh, it, we gotta wire it into the controls. It'll be wired in. We're placing the uh, Fishman BQ100 that has been wired in to the controls. Really improve the sound with the, the realist. Sounds so much like an eminence, it's hard to tell the difference. All right, and this is a 60s Epiphone. Big sounding Epiphone with the badge still on the tailpiece. Yeehaw. Nice Epiphone. A little roughed up on the edges, but good and solid, really. All right, here's our George Washington Bill Johnson bass. The three string that sounds so fantastic amplified. And the uh, next one here is a 97 Ingohart with Innovation Honey strings on it. Nice big fat sound of these. This is the 49K we're repairing for a guy, needs some work. This is a 41K that we own. Uh, the neck heel keeps wanting to break open. It's a three piece neck with the uh, stripe down the middle showing three pieces of wood in the neck. And uh, we just can't get a bolt to help hold it closed or the glue to hold. And um, so we're gonna just replace that neck, looks like, this is the final handling. It's gonna be a great 41K then. We'll use an Inglehart neck and ebony fingerboard. This is a 61 King Morton, fantastic condition, except the broken off neck. And this is a unique banjo bass. It's a shortened bass drum shortened up this way, it's like 22 inches wide and very specially made to be a heavy duty banjo bass. Crazy. Belongs to Cody Bryant. And here's a blonde bass. Kind of a honey blonde. And then back here we have a Billy bass. Palatino. We have a few Palatinos. We've got the Billy Bass, we've got their blonde thing. And then we have our Milano MB40F. It's a flame maple ebony fingerboarded. And we have synthetic gut strings on it. Now here we have the body to uh, removal neck base, and it's got a start of a cup holder for your drink on the side. Gotta finish that up so we can do something with it. Anyhow, it's removal neck base. Here's the rest of it on the floor here. Neck, tailpiece, and strings. How about that? And this is our 57 King Mortone that looks like it's been roughed up nicely. Converted the bolt there, remove the neck. Strong sounding bass. This is a a Prima or Primo brand bass. Something he's handling for the rattle. And this is a half size basic bass. This is a 5 8 vintage plywood. And here we have a 
2004 Inglehart. And that completes the inventory roundup.